stacked up along the sides, you either have to take them up and uh, brush it on Sunday while the chairs are out, or occasionally pull the chairs out from the wall. Being careful not to scratch the floor. Then, get the dust bunnies. To believe that members would take a dirty desk mop and shove it into the member custodial closet without cleaning it off, but it happens all too often. Dust mops should be thoroughly brushed out before leaving the cultural hall area. Of course, the dirt removed from the dust mop doesn't get left in a corner in the cultural hall. It gets picked up. And marks from Jim's shoes should be taken off on a regular basis. There are all kinds of special projects that need to be done that won't be found on any list. There are special projects that can be done any time of the year. This is something that doesn't need doing every week, but every six months or so, it should be done. They get pretty dusty. Window cleaner. Now you can see through it. And maybe a little dusting up here too. Quite a difference between the one that has been cleaned and the ones that haven't been cleaned. Excellent special project would be taking care of the back of the benches. Each week we pull ourselves up leaving oil from the palms of our hands along the wood. Using Murphy's soap, adding one fourth cup to a gallon of water and a sponge and you're ready to go. It needs no rinsing and beautifies the wood taking the oil and germs off. This could be done once or twice a year. 
Murphy soap would be good for all of the wood areas in the chapel. The Sabbath comes, the building's been cleaned, but we still have tasks that have to be done. In some buildings, we have to set up and take down the chairs for sacrament meeting. We have to prepare the sacrament. Let's go into the chapel. Well, everything seems to be ready in here. One Sunday, I set up the camera to see just what we as members left behind in here after sacrament meeting. It proved to be quite interesting. pick up our own programs and replace the songbooks in the holders or back on the chairs. Make the building ready for the next ward. At first, it might seem like we're being asked to do an awful lot, having the membership take care of the buildings. But when you look at what our pioneer forefathers were asked to do and did willingly, what we're being asked to do is what we should be doing, taking care of the buildings that we worship in. We certainly haven't covered all aspects of taking care of the building inside, and we haven't even talked about the outside. But I hope our video presentation has given you an understanding of the supplies, the equipment that we have to work with, and how to do some of the tasks that we're being asked to do correctly. It's my prayer that as we as members strive to do the good job, that our Heavenly Father will bless us in helping us to keep His house's holy places. I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for your time in viewing this presentation. We hope that you have gained the knowledge and information you need to have a successful member cleaning program. For more information, please contact your facility manager.